sing that shit. Hi guys, this is Zaius Graphics. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I release a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your grayscale um, painting into a colored rendered uh, painting. So all you need to do is lock all your layers. Just click on that the lock icon that is on your layer on top of your layer. Um, and if you're using any other um, software you can click on the alpha lock it's, it's going to lock the layer just click on the alpha lock it's going to lock the layer but for those using sketchbook you're going to just click on um, the lock icon the lock icon that is on top of your layer then it will lock um it will just switch into lock, um, transparency lock so after doing that you go to um the layer you want to start converting um so presently i've gone to my color wheel just select any color you want to convert uh, you want it to convert to then you select your felt pen i'm using my felt pen tool then just gradually um, um apply the colors on top of the layer you want to um you want to use so i'm presently using the highlight layer of the shirt so i'm i'm just altering i'm just altering the the white tish color and turning it into blue so just keep on doing that and then up next i'm using another different color for the um, skin tone like a mid a mid a middle tone like a beige color um, I've just selected the color that will serve as a beige color then I'll just alter the gray skill that is already there so I'm just altering the color then up next I'm going to be up, um, altering the the reddish like the the skin color that is at the eye section so I'm going to be altering it to be white so that it will give me the real color of the eye so I'm altering it with a white color so after altering it with a white color, I'll move to the next layer, which is the highlights layer. Um, the ring, the f sorry, the layer is for the freckles, the freckles and the acne, so and the textures. So you can also alter the layer. It's it was initially black, so I will turn it to a brownish, or you can turn it to whatever color you want. So just um, alter it by just applying the color over it and it will alter so uh, after altering so we'll go to the next the next is our shading layer so we we'll just alter the color color you can just play around with your color wheel or there is um, I'll drop a color um, palette in my description box just in case you're uh, interested in using my color palette to um to alter the colors you can just click on the description box and download my color palette so as you can see i'm altering the the shade the shading layer so after done with the shading layer I'm, i'll move next to my highlights as you can see i'm i'm select i'm going to select a lighter color that will blend in with the already applied color that i've done or for the shading layer so i'm going to be applying a yellowish or a whitish um, color that will serve as a highlight so i'm going to alter the white color that i used for my grayscale into a yellowish um a yellowish color as you can see it's giving me a very nice um combination so but i would prefer to make it more lighter so as to pop out the highlights on the face as you can see it's looking dull so i would advise you to use a lighter color for the face so as to pop it out so in in order to make it more um realistic and also more convincing so and also it's um, when you make it um more lighter 
and the dark shades more darker it gives the 3d the three-dimensional um, shape on the face it gives you like the real deal so i've already converted my highlights so we are going to the next uh, which is the lip the lip layer the shades uh, of the lip layer i've done a complete um, tutorial on this particular um artwork you can just go to my channel and check it out i've done a a ultimate beginners tutorial on this particular um work this particular portrait so you can just go check it out so uh, we've converted the lip shade shading layer so we're going to be altering the lip a uh, base color we'll, we'll be applying the pink color as the base color of the lip as you can see it's turning out pretty well and um, pretty nice so we can select the darker pink uh, for the top of the lip so as to differentiate the colors in between them so when you're done with that then you can when you're done with that you can switch to um, making your background and making your background or you can also um, change the color of the hair you can also change the color of the hair you can do whatsoever what uh, whatsoever thing you want you can change the highlights of the lip whatever thing you want you just make sure the layer is locked then you apply your colors so we are done altering the colors but um presently the uh, color of the skin is looking a little bit dull so to make it more interest look looking to make it look more interesting you can add some reddish colors to the nose and some reddish color to the cheek or pinkish color whatever color do you think to correspond with the skin colors you can just apply them alter them using the uh, skin tone the skin tone layer the middle tone layer so after altering the colors the reddish colors and the pinkish colors then you can also apply it to the ear then i think it will be um, looking more interesting compared to the initial um, one And of course you can alter the hair you can just simply lock the layer of the hair then alter the color you can use a brown color to alter the to, to alter the the color the black color so as you can see i'm altering the colors and also you can also alter the highlights color of the hair the hair strands you can alter the the color so as to blend the hair all together So thank you guys for watching if you have any question you can comment down below and if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime i release a video so thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye